Hey guys, it's MJ, the student actuary, and in this video, I want to very quickly explain the mean variance portfolio theory. And I want to give a very quick overview, so we're not actually going to get into the mathematics, we're just going to get a very high level understanding. Now, the nice thing about finance is that the name kind of gives it away. Mean, you can think of as return, and variance, you can think of as risk. And portfolio theory, think of two assets that we want to have in our portfolio. These can be bonds, which are assumed to be low risk, low return, and equity, which is assumed to be high return, high risk. And the general idea was that you could have a combination of both of these assets. So this would be 100% equity, this would be 100% bonds, and this yellow line indicates something in between, and that the risk and return relationship would follow this yellow line. However, where the big breakthrough was, was that this is actually not the case. The mean variance portfolio theory says that the curve does something actually like that. It bends. It bends. And this is known as the efficient frontier. And why are we getting this bend here? That was the whole thing why they won the Nobel Prize and why everyone was like, well, this is such a cool theory. Because what they showed was that the variance of the portfolio... Okay, so the variance of the portfolio decreases, decreases with a thing known as diversification. So by introducing two different assets, and the important thing here is that they must be uncorrelated. Okay, the less correlated they are, the more you're going to get this bend. So if the assets are very correlated, you might just get a slight bend. And this was the whole idea, was that by adding in assets that were uncorrelated, you could reduce risk and increase return. And this went against the whole general understanding of in order to take, get more return, you needed to take on more risk. And that's basically it. So that is a very simply explained. Go check out a whole bunch of other videos on YouTube to get a more in-depth understanding of the maths behind it. But I hope this clears it up very quickly for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Cheers.